for another week of TRP Pro Tips. I have exclusive interview this week. I have decided to reach out to one of my future brides and grooms um, to tell a little bit about what their experience has been like working with us and what their experience has been like planning a wedding. I know there's a lot of things that you all go through. So I'm here with my lovely friends, Greg and Chelsea. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. <laughs> And they are going to talk to you all about wedding planning and just their experience and what they go through by picking a photographer and all that jazz. So guys, welcome. How are we today? Very good. Thank you for having us. Good. Of course, of course. So tell us, tell everyone about you guys, how you met, where you're from, all the normal stuff. Go for it. All right. Uh, so Chelsea, Greg, obviously, uh, we met, uh, we're actually celebrating our five year anniversary in two days. So that's exciting. Um, we just celebrated our one year engagement in April. Uh, so we met uh, five years ago. Uh, we knew each other in high school. Uh, we knew of each other a little bit, not, not you know, we didn't hang out or anything. Just, yeah, we knew of each other, friends of friends and stuff like that. Um, so about five years ago, I went to my brother's birthday in Atlantic City and we had a VIP table and I was with my friends and we went to the bar and we found Greg and his friends and I hadn't seen him in years. Uh, so we all just started hanging out and we kind of connected that night and you know we again first time really meeting each other and we just hit it off and since then we kind of have been inseparable even still. I don't think we've spent more than like a week apart if we actually absolutely had to. I don't know. But so, more than days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, so yeah that's you want anything? I mean, right, Greg. A, <laughs> so Greg, tell your side of the story about how you met. Because Chelsea said hers, but I want to hear your side too. My side of the story is honestly the same in the sense that uh, I went down to AC with my buddies one night and, uh, you know, just going to have a good time and all that. And, uh, you know, by surprise, seeing her and her friends and all that and the way it happened was uh, not what I expected, but obviously very grateful that it did. Um, but yeah, very simple. I mean, gotta, it just it just kind of happened, and uh, I got a know. really sweet text in the morning saying it was great to meet me and, and all this cute stuff. And then the next uh, the next day or the next uh, couple of days after that, we met and had our first date, and it just went off from there. <laughs> so you planted the seed by sending the text, and that rest was history, bro. That's the way you got to do it, dude. It was so good. <laughs> Dude, she saw you and she was like, oh, I, I, I like this, man. I remember from high school. I don't know why, but I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Well, I, mean, I mean, you are a Cowboys fan and she is a Giants fan. That's so, wrong. Vice versa. Oh, vice versa. Oh, she's the Cowboys fan. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I always thought she was the Giants fan. So. No. I wish. I wish. Like, I've tried. I, it's not happening. No, you, can't convert, you can never convert a Cowboys fan, ever. I've tried, I've we tried. like the cowgirls and we like the she men. So there's just that, you know? So, <laughs> hi, my friends. So, a question for you. Before your engagement session, what was your biggest fear or what was something you worried about the most about your photographs? Uh, so, we were actually originally, uh, as you know, supposed to have it at an Asbury. And uh, because of the tattoo convention, that ended up being kind of, we were too worried, it was going to be too crowded and everything. So we can like converted to Point Pleasant Beach, which I, we still love and is a part of our, you know, pass as well. So it actually worked out really well. Uh, we had a lot of dates there and everything. So it worked out really well. But we were definitely worried about the crowds, about being comfortable, maybe like the pictures showing our awkwardness if we were kind of like a lot of people were around. So that was something that I was definitely worried about, which I mean, as you know, it was not an issue after, after all said and done, but, but that was definitely one of my fears and one of my biggest, you know, um, you know, worries going into it. What about you, bud? Uh, I don't know if you were able to tell that day, but walking in originally when I first met you, I was very, I felt personally very unease, like as far as I've never done a photo shoot. I've never mm -hmm. met you. I didn't know what I was walking into, um, you know, the whole nine, but, uh, honestly, you know, it, it, it I, I just went with the flow. Um, everything was a lot more comfortable and you know surprising. I thought you were very helpful in that aspect, and uh, it was all good. That's all. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yes. That's one. Th that's one thing that we strive for as photographers. We want to make you guys feel as comfortable as possible. And I, I think Greg, when I asked you to lift her over your shoulder, you looked at her <laughs> and you were like you were like, um, are you sure? I was like, I promise you, it's gonna work. And to this day. I use that photo all. Love that picture. I do. I do love that. <laughs> that way, you just popped up and you just held your ring out, and I was like, "Greg, run!" And you just booked it, and you you were like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna fall off!" 
but all right, I'm, I'm very I'm grateful for you uh, initiating that. Yes, I got you, bro. Listen, we might have <laughs> we might have to do some alteration of that at the wedding. Won't be uh, expensive, all right? I got yes. you. Welcome. I want both pictures next to each other on my wall at my house. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> okay, so how did we make you at ease on the day of the session? What were some things that we were able to do for you that made you guys feel that calmness with the session? Well, actually, um, you said that was the first time we met. We actually, when we had, you know, gotten the engagement shoot and went with you, you actually made the time to Skype with us and made the time to talk to us prior, which always makes us more comfortable. I mean, me personally, I love, you know, face to face and being able to see somebody before I meet them in person. So I'm a little more at ease. So just that off the bat, not even just the day of just prior, that was really nice to have that kind of comfort level with you already. And I already felt like when we were going to meet you, we were already going to meet a friend, which was great. Um, so I mean that already, and then we got there. And again, it was just, I think just an ease and like a funness about you that kind of made us really comfortable. And like you said, I was worried about him too, because I can find comfort in any situation really. I'm kind of just. <laughs> I know. It was funny. We showed up there and you, we had, were calling and texting the night before about Asbury. And I was like, okay, well, here's plan B. We figured mm -hmm. out plan B. We thought of a great idea. And I was like, oh, how, how, really how truly crowded could Point Pleasant Beach be? And well, my friend, it was Ooh. more crowded than we expected it to be. And I, I showed up and I was like, uh-oh, we are in trouble. Yeah. But, that felt like it had 10 times the people at Asbury, probably. That was the most crowded day I've ever seen in Point Pleasant. <laughs> I was like, I was like, of all weekends, really? Like, it's got to be this crowd? I mean, I know it was the middle of the summer, but I mean, come on, people. It was a little yeah. too much. Um, and it was blazing hot, so it was it even was, worse. It was hot. And then we had all the people on the beach, and we were just like, but mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, to this day, I, your session has to be my favorite session it, that I've done. It was the best. And honestly, you look at the pictures, you would never know, you know, that it was, you had those crazy moments. You had those little bit of like, move, move, move. Like you would never know looking at the pictures. That's what makes it even better. You know, we had, we had the fun, like ability to just kind of get through together. But then like, you look at the pictures and you're like, wow, that looks like there's 10 people there. <laughs> you know? so, speaking, so speaking of photos, what is your favorite photo? I know we kind of talked about this a second, but what is your favorite photo, each of you from the session? What was your favorite one? We asked Actually, I made him pull it up on his phone, so we actually have them ready to show you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> like, I am all ready to go. We're all ready. Do you want to go first? Is yours up already? Yeah. Go ahead. Craig's uh, like, uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I lost it. Oh. Okay, am I going to go first? Yeah, you go first. Sorry. I'm going first because he's not ready. So this one was just, I, I, this is like kind of like three quarters into the shoot, and we were already so comfortable having so much fun. And then this picture, I think, in the moment was so fun, and we were just laughing. And I don't remember you snapping this picture, but it came out so beautiful. Oh, yes. That, that, set, that part of the set. Shots. Actually, that was Alexis. Alexis shot that was photo. It? Yeah, oh my did, god. I was taking the forwards and she was below you. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you're right. That's why I don't remember it. Yeah. You nailed that. Yeah. Oh my god. Yep. It was I remember when I was we were first first of all, there's so many beautiful pictures. It was really hard to pick. We were actually looking through it before this call and we're like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but, but it was so hard. But like there were certain ones where like that one specifically where I'm like, I can see my joy and I can see how excited I was. So like I love that. Like I love that I could see it. So that was what I thought. <laughs> what about you, bud? So my picture, it, it's, oh, it's the same. Oh, my God. I got you. So this one, but, you know, also the one that's right next to it as far as the, the further yeah, length of the – yeah. um, I, I choose that picture because, um, like I said, I, I was uneasy going into it, but you gave me a level of comfortability throughout the entire session that truly took effect to me. And uh, – I would say at the end of the night, even though that was the end of it, um, as far as for somebody who has a bit of stage fright and doesn't like big crowds and stuff like that, that was a moment where it felt like nobody else was there. And uh, I just truly appreciated every bit of it. And, uh, yeah, that part it was, was a uh, lot of fun. You know, yeah. we, Alexis thought of it. She goes, how about we do this in, on the boardwalk? And I said, I'm game. I'm totally down. We will talk, check with you guys. And I was getting a little frustrated because people weren't aware of what was going on. And we had to be such a distance to create that photo. And if you look at it, you would think that we, like, we had to Photoshop people out, but people were just so respectful once they knew we were there. Yeah, and it's one of those moments where like, you were in the middle of a crowd of people and they're, yeah. they're, they're daily things and you're just there. I, yeah, yeah. 
that part of that session. I remember, I remember hearing your voice, but it didn't yeah. even matter. Your yeah. voice didn't even matter. I was just, you know, I was in the moment, which is yeah, which is was, exactly how sessions should be. You you should yeah, be connected yeah. in the moment and really just enjoying the experience. And that's something that we talk about a lot too: is the client experience and the friend experience and the people experience you give to brides and grooms that you are photographing. And most of the photographers do miss that. They they it's to them it's the this is a job, this is a client. I'm gonna move on. You guys and I, we've developed a friendship. You know, it's more than just bridegroom to photographer. It's we're friends, we're photographing, and that's exactly how I always want it to be. So yeah. I, I appreciate that you you felt that way. And I, I again, your session was just an unbelievable session. So, um, okay. So next question kind of ties into that. Um, what surprised you most about working with us? Like what was one thing that really surprised you guys that when we got there or like something that we maybe did that you guys didn't expect? Uh, first of all, just how professional and experienced you really are. Like you were just like hit the ground running, you had Alexis on the floor, like just up, like she was on the, on the sand in like her skirt and she was all right she, to get the shot. You guys did anything and you made it look easy. Like I said, we got the pictures back. First of all, so many pictures to pick from. It's going to be crazy hard for us to have the dates, but <laughs> crazy hard. But like looking through them, I was just like I said, you couldn't even, I couldn't remember those shots being taken. They were just so, they came out so amazing and you would just never know, you know, what effort went into it. You made it look so easy. So that was phenomenal to, to experience and then see afterwards the, um, you know, the aftermath of it. It was really cool. Right. What about you, bud? Yeah, I, I would, uh, I would say your, your creativeness mm -hmm. as far as per shot, you know, specifically the one where the one that I always remember is the, um, the sun in the background while we're oh, kissing. Yeah. That, that was a very, very cool one. Um, but yeah, just, just the angles, you know, it was just, uh, it was all very good. Thank you. you and her. <laughs> yeah. So it's funny, after you guys had left, we parted ways after the date night portion of it, um, Alexis and I sat down and I looked at her and I said, that was, ama that was an amazing session. Like I felt so good about it because we really, we had to think on our feet. You know, we had planned all for Asbury. Then we had to think of a completely new location, a completely new concept. And I mean, it's sometimes for photographers and for clients and people, it's really hard to do because you have to now take yourself from this mode of being, you know, in Asbury on this boardwalk with these types of atmospheres to Point Pleasant Beach where there's carnival games and lights and a ton of people and a lot of kids. And I think that we really, truly found I think we wouldn't have had as much success with your session if we went into Asbury as we did at Point Pleasant. And I yeah. think the concept worked out so well for the date night, which we're going to get into in a second for everyone who's wondering what the date night was. Um, and just to be able to like start out on the beach, get you changed, and then get back out there and do the date night. I mean, your session to this day is still one of my favorites, and I, I loved every minute of it. Um, okay, so during the session, were there any moments in particular that you felt more in love, and if so, why? I'm going to go for us on this one. <laughs> so, it's like, I got this under control. So, as you know, Tom, and as I'm sure Alexis saw, and, and the people who were there, even people who probably were just watching from afar, when we started playing games during the date night, I saw an intensity come out in him. <laughs> <laughs> and a competitiveness that you captured both on the like on the photos in him and in me. I was cracking up the whole time. I was laughing basically the whole day and night, but I was laughing so hard because I were like, this is for a good picture. And I'm like giddily, like giddy and smiling. And he was like <laughs> The best, the best about that was Greg when we played the game in the arcade, and I stood in front of the machine, and you guys were playing the, the, with the colors, and your face oh, some of them yeah. was so. Chelsea's like missing things; she's cracking up, and you're just looking at the screen. You're like, okay, I gotta beat, I gotta win, I gotta win. Oh, 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 I think he was trying to look around you. He's like, he's like almost like move, Tom. I'm trying to. <laughs> I have my eye on the prize, man. Eye on the prize. Um, you know. He's like, well, I love this guy. He's crazy. <laughs> what, what about you, buddy? Anything? Um, honestly, I got, I, you know, I have to be honest. I, I would say it's, it's truly throughout the whole, the, the whole, uh, session, um, from beginning to end, it was just, you know, her glowing smile, look at her, know, and, um, just her positivity and, you know, just everything. It all, it just all felt right. It all came together. Perfect. Um, I don't think that I've ever been that comfortable in that setting, like I said, out of my element. So it was, uh, it was pretty awesome for me. We had a good time. You know, those, the first sequence of photos we took in, uh, kind of on the rail to kind of get the thing started, yeah. those photos seem to be so far everyone's favorite. 
Chelsea, I think it was just your smile and Greg, the way you looked at her and just kind of how you both interacted with each other. And I got it. It's just her smile. I know. I get it. I get it. <laughs> no, buddy. It's, you're the other half of this thing, dude. Yeah. You know, and, and people say they're like, oh my God, who is that? And, you know, I'm like, these are just two of my friends that I got a chance to photograph for their engagement session. And they're like, wow, they're, some, they're amazing photos. And I think that really let me into how comfortable you were together, which allowed me to make you guys even more comfortable working with us, making the date night even more fun. And Chelsea, I don't know if you know this this but Greg and I had a conversation on that session and I said you know how'd you meet how you know we're all about you and he said I'm just so excited to marry this girl and I think that's just so like that's so special when like when you're marrying the man or the woman that you love and you that that person without you even standing there can say that to someone that they just met that's true love I mean I don't I mean if you ask me I don't know what else is so, so now you know, Charles, the little conversation we had, and that's what your man said. So. <laughs> and um, I haven't heard about that for almost a year now, so let me see what you trying to brag about it. <laughs> about, well, listen, we still got over a year yet to the wedding, so once that comes, we're just going to be, dude, I'm telling you, man, you better cry at that first look, bro. I'm, oh, he's going to it's all right. Yeah. I'm going to be with her all morning. So I'll get to see her getting dressed and then I'll come find you with like, oh, dude, you are going to shed a tear. And you told me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know I will. I will. Um, okay, guys. So how would you describe the overall experience? I know we talked about comfortability and stuff like that, but like overall, the entire session, how would you, you know, describe it as, as a whole? Technically? 11 out of 10. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. If I could go higher. I, I would give it a 10 out of 10, 11 out of 10, anything, because uh, the level of professionalism, um, comfortability, like you said, um, just everything across the board um, just truly hit home. And that, that's just the true honesty of it. There, there's no reason to go so in detail. It, it just, it, it all worked out perfect. And uh, it's all thanks to you and Alexis. You yeah. Know? You guys were great to work with. So yeah. That's it was, my two well, points. I mean, I'll say it again. It was just so much fun. Uh, it really was like, like friends, like photographing friends. And I was just like, like we all went together to have fun and we're like, let's do an impromptu photo shoot. Like it felt like that. It felt very comfortable as I can beat a dead horse with it, but it really was. And, uh, you know, we walked away from that without even seeing the images, without knowing how they came out. They could have come out terrible. Not that they would have. I'm just saying we knew then. We knew then. We walked away. We got in the car. We said, we're, we're using them. We don't care what the price is. We don't care about anything. We, we're using them. I will never find anybody I'm more comfortable with. I don't even want to look. I don't even want to look any further. That was exactly what I need for the wedding day to feel comfortable and to feel like, you know, we're going to walk away from our wedding day on one of the best days ever and say, our photo shoot, our photos were awesome. They're going to be great. <laughs> That I can vouch for. We were sold. We were sold the second we walked out uh, mm -hmm. to our car. For sure. That's good to know. You know, that's something that we always strive for is to get and create that client experience and create that that time with when you guys walk away from a session. It was so good that you don't even you don't even think to go anywhere else. You don't even think to say, oh, let's research because there are no people out there that do that. You know, they'll want that free session or they'll take the chance with the free session and they'll say, oh, we're we're just going to go another direction and and, yeah. and that's fine if people want to do that it's say okay by me but you know to know that that's how you felt afterwards it did my job you know i yeah. did exactly what i what i put on this earth to do is to change the lives of many people and i and i'm so honored to have a met the two of you and b to just have been able to photograph your your love story and it's i can't wait for the wedding so speaking of the wedding um, <laughs> what excites you the most about your wedding photography now that you have the engagement session done with us. I mean, feeling like we we have our trust in you. We we know that you know all we have to worry about on our wedding day is is getting married, having a great time with our friends and family, and having the full knowledge that everything that we are going to want photographed is going to be taken care of, and it's it's just going to be the best day. Yeah, I, I would just say the uh, the inevitable finalized product that I know will be you know of quality and what we love and yeah. what we expect and all that and. Uh, to look back on it, you know, for the future after we get married, you know. I uh, I am super pumped for your for your wedding. I, I your wedding was the first one we booked for next year, and I said when we booked it, I said you know it's a little far away, but I think we should just let's just do it. I think we should just get everything settled and and finalized. And yeah, your yeah. venue is just going to be unbelievable, and your day is just going to be incredible. And it's like, whatever happens on that day, nothing can go wrong because it's just going to be the two of you, all of us, we're going to be there. All your friends and family are going to be there celebrating the both of you. And that's exactly what we're here for, you know, in the yeah. end. Uh, so, okay. So what is some advice do you have for those couples planning their dream wedding or newly engaged about looking for a photographer or just any advice in general, you know? 
I mean, definitely enjoy it. We've been engaged for a year now, and we are, our wedding's in a year, so we're basically like right in the middle of the, uh, you know, the planning. And we, we put it a little far out because we had other weddings this year and everything. And thank God we did because of everything going on. But honestly, enjoy it. You know, you get you get caught up in the stress, and you get caught up in, you know, the the advice here and advice there. Just do what's best for you two. Um, I know we've been taking that route a lot, and, you know, when someone wants to give their input, Take it, listen, but but you don't necessarily have to use it. Um, but definitely have fun. Um, you know, take every opportunity you can. We took the opportunity to do the free engagement shoot, and it worked out phenomenal for us. Uh, we're we are so excited to not, to not have to worry about anything really going forward uh, with the photography or with you know with a lot. Of, we took a lot of care of a lot of our vendors already, so we're actually really in a good spot right now. So we're just doing the fun planning now and just buying things. <laughs> so. Got to buy all the things, always. Yes, right? yes. <laughs> They're all sitting behind us right now. Greg, she probably comes home and is like, honey, look what I bought for the wedding day. It's like little candles. Or like, oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I can only, or she sits on Etsy or Pinterest and just finds different things. I'm not surprised. It's like you know. It's like I know you so well, Chelsea. Yeah. Like, come wait, on. Wait. <laughs> Lisa, my advice, honestly, to all the guys out there, just just listen, you know, and go with the flow. Don't argue, you know. Just just uh, keep an eye on the prize, man. That's it. Don't make it more complicated than it has to be. Happy wife, happy, wife, happy life, right? It's the way to do yeah. it. Exactly. Yep. All right, friends. Well, everyone, that wraps up today's episode exclusive interview with Greg and Chelsea for TRP Pro Tips. Guys, I want to thank you so, so much for coming out tonight to talk to everybody about your experience. And I'm so excited for the wedding day. And I will talk to you all soon. Yes, thank all you right. so much for having us. It's so much fun. It's always great talking to you. And we are so excited for you to photograph our wedding. Thanks, <laughs> You're welcome. Sounds good, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, guys.